In this presentation, I will talk about how to prepare a data set for quantitative data analysis, particularly when you have collected your data using an online survey. This module will start with a brief discussion of what quantitative data is, as well as the key components of quantitative data. Then I will walk you through how to prepare an online survey data for statistical analysis. First of all, what is quantitative data? Quantitative data documents information in numeric format, and the data can include both quantitative and qualitative information. If you are not familiar with the terms, please review the module from the previous class. Quantitative data is analyzed with statistics. The goal of the analysis is often twofold. One, explaining trends in a variable. Two, explaining the relationship between two or multiple variables. We will have a detailed discussion on this in our quantitative analysis workshop. But for more information, please review materials from the previous class linked here. The last feature of the quantitative data is that the data often captures information from large number of observations, in the case of survey data, respondents. With the improvement in computational tools, we often utilize various statistical software to analyze data for quantitative analysis. In our class, we will use Microsoft Excel to analyze and visualize our data. How does a quantitative data look like? Here is an example of a quantitative data. Regardless of what software you choose, a quant data will look like this. The first row of the spreadsheet will capture the names of the variables. On the other hand, each column represents a variable. Except the first row, rows capture observations. In survey data, this will be each respondent's answers to all survey questions. Again, survey questionnaire is one of the major methods of collecting quantitative data. One can conduct a pencil and paper survey. In this case, the researcher must document respondents' answers manually in the data format that we saw in the previous slide. Online survey is more common now, and various companies provide survey options. However, depending on the service provider, participants' responses are only reported in text rather than numerical format. While this still can provide summary information, you might need to convert the text to numerical values if you want to conduct any statistical analysis. In this presentation, I will give an example using Qualtrics, given its compatibility with both text and numerical data. Okay, if you're a student from Higher Education 593, you probably have created your survey on Qualtrics. When you log into your Qualtrics account, you will see the surveys you have created and administered. Here, I have a survey I conducted titled as Engineering Survey. Since this is the survey that I want to retrieve the data, I will click the title of this survey. Now the page shows different activities I can do with the survey. To retrieve the data, we have to click Data and Analysis panel. One thing I would emphasize here is that the report is not the data. Most online survey providers create a report and summarizes trends in people's responses in statistics such as average or percent, as well as in graphs. However, I would encourage you not to too rely on the report generated by the provider as it might not be sufficient to answer your research questions or contain some inaccurate information that you should have removed before you analyze the data. We will talk about it in the in-person data workshop as well. Once you click data in analysis, 
The screen will show answers of respondents documented here. As I mentioned in the previous slides, the data will need to be analyzed with the statistical software, or in our case, Microsoft Excel. This requires us to export the data in an appropriate format. So click Export and Import button here. Then you will see a drag down menu with Export Data and Import Data options. Select Export Data to download your survey data. Once you click Export Data, you will see the format of data files that Qualtrics supports. For Excel and most of statistical software, you can choose a CSV file, which saves all information in the data separated by delimiters. Anyway, you will need to notice that there are two options here, use numeric values and use choice text. Let's try with the default, which is the choice text and we click download. Once the file is downloaded, open the file. And this is how your data will look like when you open it. As you can see, the first row contains variable names or question numbers. Then the next two lines are some descriptions of the questions. And after that, each row contains one observation, people's responses for each question. But again, what we have to do is a statistical analysis, and this requires the data to be numeric. So let's go back to the export data page, and now select the use numeric value option. Again, click download. So now everything remains the same, but all the responses are documented in number. As a final step to prepare the data file, we also need to remove those two lines where explanations of the questions were contained. Remember, the first row of the data is automatically considered as variable names, and the rest are considered as valid data to be analyzed. So we have to make sure to delete anything that are not data here. So after cleaning that part by deleting the rows, the data is now ready to be analyzed. Another step that I would encourage you before you start analyzing any quantitative data is to create a data codebook. A codebook contains information about the name of the variable, what the variable is measuring, and what numerical values are assigned or reported to capture particular category, level, and ranges. This becomes very helpful when you work with different variables throughout the data analysis process. Especially when you work with survey data using Excel, this will save you a lot of time because you don't have to go back and forth between your data and survey page to check what variables and values mean. You can create a codebook by comparing your data in the text and numerical formats, as well as by looking at the report generated by the survey service provider. I also like having my research questions included in the codebook, so I can always refer to the research questions to decide appropriate analytic methods or check if I'm using the right variables in a right way to answer my research questions. Hopefully, following the steps, you can have a numeric data ready to be analyzed and a codebook that documents information for your key variables. Now, this also well prepares you for the in-person workshop. In the in-person workshop, we will discuss the next steps for quantitative data analysis. First, we will talk about how to check the quality of the data by looking at missing data. We will also go over ways to reassign numerical values in a variable or ways to create new variables with existing information. Then we will discuss how to analyze data using Excel. We will briefly review what statistical methods are appropriate to answer different types of research questions. You are more than welcome to review materials from previous class before you come to the workshop. Last but not least, 
I will demonstrate and practice together with you more technical steps for each of the statistics listed here using Microsoft Excel. See you in the class.